What's going on? It's Heat Kicks back with another video. Just here at the local mall. About to see if I can get in line for the Toronto Raptor Air Jordan 4 release. As you can see, everything's pretty much closed, but I got word that Foot Locker is gonna be opening up at eight o'clock. So I'm getting ready to head in over there right now. So I'm here for the sneaker release. I get right by the store. I'm, as you can see, I'm in a walker. Luckily, I'm here with my mom. There's about five or six people standing out in front of the store. Um, and normally, I'm able to take the escalator up, kind of leaning forward with the walker, and then basically get right in line. I notice there's like five or six people up. Now I gotta walk all the way down here to the complete other side of the mall. Disabled again, mind you, so that I can get on this elevator and then go all the way back to the other side of the mall Just so I can get in line with the hopes of getting my shoe and then I got to walk all the way back It's gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be worth it again. Like I said, I'm here for the Air Jordan 4 Toronto Raptors colorway Nobody here. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning the inside store is open for walkers and exercise, but not really any stores that are open. I know Foot Locker is the only one opening up at eight o'clock. See what we got here. And bam, we're here at the elevator. Whew. Get my exercise in. All right, come on, come on, open up. Now we gotta get this, so we gotta get to the upper floor here. It's a nice little like average mall. It's gonna echo a little bit in here, so I'm gonna kinda talk a little quieter. But um seem like there are about five, six guys up there, and hopefully they're not all size 12, because if they are, I might be shit out of luck. And I'm not gonna be too much of a happy camper about that, so. Anyways, here I am up on the second floor Got Banana Public and Like I said, now we gotta back check that whole distance That I just walked to get back to the Foot Locker which was originally above me And I got a good feeling about it though We about to get it We about to get it I just gotta get to the damn place and sit down Luckily I got a walker, the type of walker That you can sit on and if you guys can tell what kind of shoes those are, is it a black, black, utility black, utility black, utility black, Yeezys. All right, so coming back, we're almost about to be around the corner here. And I didn't even think to bring my camera. This is just on the 4G of my iPhone, but this is my first actual vlog in the mall and as you guys know with my disability and everything I'm not able to get out much and the only time you see me out is either, either to go to a relaxing cold movie theater or two house of hoops of foot lockers to actually cop my pairs of shoes so I'm calm right now if you guys can see over there we got about I don't know about six or seven people that looks like they're there trying to wait and ready at eight o'clock to cop so let me go around and get in a little closer. As you can hear, I'm a bit out of breath. I think it'll be good. I see some small feet. I see some medium sized feet, eights, nines. As long as nobody over there is wearing 12s, we good. I don't see any 12s, maybe a couple. But anyways, here we are, Foot Locker, 7.30 in the morning. Waiting for the gates to pop open. It's heat kicks, I'm out. So I didn't want to record in the store out of respect for my friends that work there and the employees. As you can see, I was successful in picking up the Energy Air Jordan 4 Raptors. Um, initially I heard that it wasn't going to be an Energy once they took Drake's name off of the actual shoe or the collab, but it actually stayed Energy and it is really really limited so my store didn't even get a full size run so as you guys saw online definitely check this video out because a lot of stores are getting them but they're not getting a lot of stock of them 
The guy came out with about 15 tickets and luckily I was about the eighth and ninth person and nobody had a size 12 foot. And if they did, I would have been shit out of luck. And that was coming in an hour early. So anyways. What's going on, Kicks Gang? It's Heat Kicks back with another video. Got something really exciting for you guys. I literally just got back from the mall. It's Saturday for the uh, Air Jordan 4 Raptors. Um, I didn't know how limited they were going to be. I know that for a lot of places like Foot Locker, Champs, the local raffles that you can usually get into, uh, those guys weren't doing the raffles. They were doing first come, first serve, which honestly, I kind of like that because it, it helps you a little bit. But then at the same time, you got to be there early. Um, and like you guys will see in the footage that I've shown you or will be showing you here shortly, um, there were a few people there. There were probably about 10 people there. Luckily, none of them were in my size or anything like that. Um, but there was a little bit of a wait, which for me was kind of neat because usually I do most of my stuff through the Internet. Um, and I basically went up there with my walker. Like I said, I, I do have some disabilities, but I went up there with my walker and my cane um, and basically had to kind of go all the way around instead of just going to the store because the escalators are broken. Usually I'll kind of rig something up so that I can like put the walker on the uh, escalator, lean forward, and then I can kind of get up. But because it was so early in the morning, none of the shops were open, none of the escalators were working, so I had to go to the other side of the mall while more and more people were standing up in line um, there at Foot Locker. And then it was presumed to be an hour later at 9 o'clock, Champs would be doing the same thing. Um, I've got a good relationship with the guys at Foot Locker, so I figured I'd go with that. So I get up to the front. There's about, like I said, 10 people sitting there. I was just asking, like, hey, what size do you wear? What size do you wear? And nobody was a size 12, so I was feeling pretty good about things. Um, then my boy, the assistant manager, came out. I didn't film any of this because those guys don't usually like to be on camera, but I was the only size 12 and from what I hear there were about five to six size 12s but something interesting did happen and I'll leave this up to you guys because these guys are my buddies I don't really want to get into it but when they came out with the size cards to give people basically to get in line they said we don't have anything 10 or under so basically 10 and above we've got sizes everything 10 and under we don't have anything so it was really weird they got like a partial size run and then had multiple pairs in that partial size run um, I did see some shady stuff going on afterwards um, I will be adding that video um, in in here as soon as I'm done recording this for you guys but anyways I just wanted to get into a little bit of the brief kind of like me getting into the raffle this morning and with that let's go ahead and get into the sneakers so the sneakers are dope of course we got the regular flight box on the box um, I believe yeah it does as you can see here um, let me see if I can get that to focus yeah and it does say energy there but honestly when when we get an energy shoe what do you get you get better laces you get better materials you know so none of the things that would typically be energy were on this shoe no drake signature no hidden any you know no, nothing hidden nothing it was kind of just a straight away colorway it wasn't even og it had the jump man on the back now don't get me wrong the shoe is really really dope and so I went all the way out to that store, being as that I am disabled, like I said, I actually had to go back and luckily they had another size 12, but my size had glue stains and scuffs and stuff like all over, you know, places where you could see it really, really well, including the toe box. Um, even when I call bald spots, and I'm, for you Jordan guys, you know what I'm talking about. They'll do their suede, but then they'll have like these little shiny spots. They're almost like bald spots for the suede. 
Um, and so I went ahead and got my second pair and I did even notice some issues with the second pair um, in the back. I'll show you guys once I pull them out in the back where the pull tab is. You know how the leather is supposed to kind of be smooth. Well, a lot of you guys don't know. You just see the shoe, but the actual back tab is bigger than what you see. There's a flat piece that goes under and then they stitch that. And then that stitching that they cut out and that U shape on the bottom is supposed to fit tightly. So on one shoe it does, one shoe it doesn't. It was my second pair of the day, you know, so, and, and they didn't have any more. I wasn't going to be able to get a better pair or any of that. And I figured as long as it's not on the toe box, you can barely see this. And it's really just because I'm a sneaker head. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and get into the, into the unboxing. Regular lid here. Um, I did notice here that I got the, I, I know the fakes are doing this, but the Yum sticker there, which is like, you know, uh, an authenticity sticker so okay bam here we go so this is the first sneaker this is the left foot um, really really dope so as you're seeing it initially you can see there's not too many gl glue stains the toe box is pretty good and it's got that ashy type suede so it's gonna look like it's got some imperfections and then for the spots that do have imperfections it's actually good that it's an icy not an icy but that it's a uh, ashy type shoe because that kind of covers that up. Um, the really, like I said, they really didn't do anything as far as energy. The only difference was the tag. So instead of having the regular orange tag, they went with the clear tag with the black background and the white jump man. So, okay, you know, no big deal. The outsole is as you guys have seen as advertised. So let me go ahead and get both of these out so I can show you both of them. And then I'll show you what I was talking about real quick. So really, really dope pair, the Toronto Raptors 4s. As you can see, my second pair was a pretty good pair. Um, not too many glue stains. You know, but you can see up in here, there's some, some definite inconsistencies. What I was talking about though is if I can get this, I hope I can get this to zoom in. But here, right along, okay, there we go, right along where they cut, I'm trying to show, like right along where they cut that leather, there's actually a gap there. So there's still plastic behind it, because as you guys know, and then over here, um, there's that plastic. Yeah, this is the, I really want to get you guys a good, see if I'm trying to get it to focus. Yeah, right there you can see it. See how it doesn't, it's not flush to the leather? And so, I mean, coming from here, looking at this angle, you're not going to be able to tell. On foot, no one's going to be able to tell. Um, but for us sneakerheads, you know it hurts a little bit. You know what I mean? You're paying $220, or these were $200. Um, right here, again, there is, if you can see here, I want to try to focus in again. There is a little bit of, like, what I call that right there, the bald spots. Um where the suede is not perfect but honestly i can't complain i've seen a lot of way worse pairs i'm um, just fortunate that they actually had another pair i got over there quick to to trade out and you know i said to the guy i said i'm sure somebody else will won't mind getting these off of you guys because they're not probably going to be as big in the sneakers um, but they know me, they know I spent a lot of money there, and I was like, for $200, I either got to get a better sneaker or I got to get a refund. Because as much as I like this sneaker, I could probably wait for it to go back down in price and get it for pretty close to retail. Because there were quite a bit of pairs. Anyways, let's get into the in-depth review. So, of course, you've got the red, purple, black, and then red outsole with the red jump man in the middle of the purple. Kind of that black herringbone pattern here as you can see okay and then on the midsole you've got the black and then you've got the purple with that splacka splacka splackle yeah as you can see it's got that almost like cement type splackle on the side with the the little black and then you got purple here with the splackle again and then the front is the red outsole as you see from there and then it kind of does the same thing on the other side where it does all purple here with a little bump of black rubber here. And then this has a splickle splackle as well. Um, and then, of course, you've got your typical Air Jordan 4 um, 
in every every other way. So you got your your webbings here that that hold the laces. I always forget the name of these, um, but these are in pretty good shape. As you can see, there's a little bit of a scuff. But what you guys got to remember is a lot of this stuff is scuffs or dirt stuff that comes out through the factory. So it's not like somebody took these out, especially if you're getting them on the day of the release or on the day of the release. They weren't like out wearing them or testing them. I mean, definitely look at the bottoms and that'll tell you. Um, but what it is is just shoe after shoe getting moved down the line, dust, scuffs. Get a little bit of crep protect or rejuvenator or whatever it is that you guys use to, to clean up your shoes. And a lot of that stuff, yes, they're new. Um, and, and even for you guys that are going to be trying to sell them, you can still sell them. You just got to be careful, like little things, like if you can get a scuff out on the midsole, you know, but you guys, especially with suede shoes, you guys got to know what you're doing. So like I said, when I got the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4s, there was a huge crease on the size. So I, I've been doing this for a while, so I just did a light mist of water distilled water on the suede and then I lightly misted a towel and put that over the suede and then I ironed it and what I did was I stuffed socks all the way down into the toe box and I ironed it so that the crease would come out now yes water will damage suede heat will burn and or damage suede but if you do just the right amount I was actually able to fix my Travis Scott's to look as brand new I mean you, you can't even tell so anyways let me get a, a, another couple close-ups for you guys really really dope shoe um, I hope Nike blessed you guys with a good pair um, but I, I just really like the colorway um, and I also didn't add so yeah we're gonna have we're not gonna have the Nike Air of course we've got the purple Jumpman on the back um, and this is the one that you know where the leather didn't match up you can also see it's kind of leaning a little bit that way but you know what? At the end of the day, that's not that. It's not the end of the world. You got the upside down um, Air Jordan here. Get the focus on that. The upside down Air Jordan right there um, on the inside of the tongue, and then also really nice. This is kind of what also falls into the energy, and I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, and it's basically like, I wouldn't say suede, because the rest is just that really premium suede, but the new buck jump man. So that, the tag, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's really all that makes it, you know, the energy release. This was supposed to have Drake up on top. But let me go ahead. The suede is really nice. Let me see if I can get you guys, so you guys can see that, that back and forth. Oh, yeah, you can see that. You know, really, really, really good premium. Let me try the other one. Really premium suede on these, you know. And like I said, I have seen some pairs that were really, really god awful and had a lot of bad spots in them and everything. And also, too, uh, I did see some pretty interesting stuff this Saturday on release day as well. Definitely saw some backdooring. Um, definitely saw some people doing some shady stuff. I've got some additional videos coming up for that. And I also got today in the mail, as soon as I got back from picking these up, in the mail was my Lucky Charms Kyrie 4s. So I'm gonna be unboxing those for you guys shortly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon. It's Heat Kicks. I'm out.